Okay, I've got this crazy house, right? And uh, the second floor is this circle around the outside and the middle part's all open, but this goes all the way around. And it's a pretty big building. It's big enough that you can run laps around this track, right? Although you can't run super fast because it's a flat track and it's a pretty tight curve. So I'm going to bank the out outer part of the floor. So that's why the floor is only built out to here. And I just finished getting all the, all the boards squeezed together to take up any gaps because I, I cut this wood about six months ago out of the jungle and, you know, cut it on my lumber mill and planed it all on my planer and uh, then screwed all the boards down and let them shrink for a few months before I did anything else. And they shrank and then I just squeezed them all together, you know, unscrewed them all, smushed them all, took up all the spaces. I got that done and now I want to work on this this outer part. So the floor is flat and then it'll go up 30 degrees. And I've cut the first curve here. Uh, it's sort of the second curve because when I was originally putting the floor down, I did make a curve here. Just kind of, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how I was doing it yet. So this one doesn't even have the right angle. I might have to redo it or maybe, I don't know what I'll do with that one. Um, but I'm cutting, I set my little circular saw to cut a 30 degree angle here. So if I start putting strips of wood on here, it will come up at 30 degrees. These strips of wood, these, I have a whole bunch of these because they were like leftovers, leftover edges when I was cutting the boards for the floor. So I have a whole bunch of these, although I need to run them through the planer to get them the right, the right thickness this way. So they're the floor thickness. I'm not sure if they'll go through the planer okay, being that thin that way. I might have to screw a couple together when I put them through. Whatever, I'll figure it out. So, yeah. This is a little bit of a tricky curve to cut. I did this piece of wood separately from this one and, uh, you know, it didn't quite get it perfect. So I'm going to have to put a strip of wood in here because if this is right there, it doesn't doesn't quite line up. It's got to be out a little bit. But that's okay. I can cut strips of wood on my lumber mill very easily, so fine. However, for the rest of this, I'm going to try to cut my curve a little better with my circular saw, which can barely handle it. Uh, and my curve, I graft it onto a piece of plywood here. So I can just trace the edge of that on here and uh, I'm making the curve roughly 18 inches, a foot and a half from the outer wall. Well, that's 18 inches and I'm putting it right there. Just because when I cut the first one, whatever, it doesn't matter, 18 and a half inches. All right, I guess just shut up and keep going here, Jamie. This board's, this board's screwed down and right now, I'm just getting these boards in here, which take up enough space to be able to put the curve on. So I just have to cut them. First step, cut them here so they fit snug. Then draw my curve, cut the curve. There you go. circular saw actually died a little while ago but uh, I opened it up had to mess around with the brushes but I got to straighten out I do have a bigger circular saw, but it uses the 60 volt batteries, which I only have two of. This guy right here is one of them, but it doesn't charge anymore. It charges up to one light, which will, uh... yeah, got, the other day it got to the point where 
I could do a cut like that long before it died. And the same with the, the other battery I have of that. I've gotten a fair amount of use of them before they died, so whatever. But I should probably just get a plug-in one for doing stuff in the house. Anyway, hopefully this little guy can handle what I'm doing today. Cutting curves is a little tricky with a circular saw. I'll do a few passes to be able to get through this. Take that board off to do that one too. I don't know. Maybe I can do it where it is. I just don't want to cut any of this at all. Well, well, the other problem is this is right over the kitchen. I don't want to get sawdust all in the kitchen, which is why I'm cutting these over here. And I'm just doing it right here. Just to make sure I get the. Just barely hanging on. <laughs> All right. All right, good. All right, that one is pretty good. Nice. We got the boards lined up with each other, partly because I just cut it right in the in, the, in place. Yeah, it almost makes me want to redo this part, although it's going to be easier to just cut a little strip for that. Okay, next. Okay, last section. This is the one I did when I originally put the floor down. And it looks like I got the curve pretty good, but I didn't really know how I was gonna do this, so I didn't put the, the angle on this. So I think I just need to cut a strip. I don't think it's worth redoing the whole thing. Hold on a second, I got an idea here. So I have all these pieces with the correct angle cut on them. I could just cut this straight down right there and if it can flex enough 
because it curves the wrong way. If it can flex enough, it'll totally fit. Let me, let me try one. Yeah, just like that. Right. All right, with a bit of luck, can bend this Ah, perfect. Oh, really good, yeah. Now let's do that. Ah, I just decided to glue it on. And then one at the beginning where I, you know, made it a little too thin, I was going to put a strip in there. Turns out I could just put a piece in there. It lines up really good now. Yep. Okay, got my circle. And now I can start putting the angle pieces. Well, maybe I can get one out of this piece of wood. And then just copy them all off this. Okay, from the corner I need 30 degrees. This part is not going to be long enough, is it? Oh, I got to go to right there. And then 90 degrees up to there. Yeah, I need a slightly bigger piece of stuff. Hold on, give me a minute. I'll come help you in a minute. Let me just. All right, All right that's good. This goes along the floor. This goes up the wall. And then this will be the angled floor, the, the banked floor. Looks like a good amount of bankage for me. I think it's good. What do you think? Yes, I think it's good. Oh. Okay, 40, 48 of these, right? One, two, three, four, times 12, 48. Oh, I think these should be glued and screwed. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need more glue. I need to get a better bottle too. need to get strips start lining them up all the way up there all the way around well this is gonna be cool I'm kind of getting excited about this oh this is gonna be sweet 